Good day! Welcome, Mog Senior High School. This is Sir Glenn Cadizarandilia for Module 3 Grade 11 Career Guidance Program. Again, this Module 3 um, Career Guidance Program is intended for all Grade 11 students, especially who are actually new in Senior High School Program. And this is also intended especially for my um, Grade 11 um, Advisory Class, um, Humes Peterson but um, you may join also or watch this video for your references to all MOG Senior High School Grade 11 students. So Module 3 um, is about... Uh, let's start <laughs> so that you will know. Okay, Grade 11 Career Guidance Program. Alright, so we will have the walkthrough of this... Um, module all right so at the end of the uh, of the lesson or walkthrough um, the participants the participants will describe the session flow methodologies and activities to be used in the session um, clarify the issues that may arise in the implementation of the SG demonstrate the skills in the administration of the module through micro demo teaching provide feedback on how to improve the strategies employed during the micro demo teaching so key understanding this is the continuation of module 2 it aims to strengthen this, the decision making of the learners and it focuses on the sources of information relevant to the curriculum exits so remember we have four curriculum exits um, trabajo negocio colegio and the other one is the middle level skills all right, so here we have this activity, find me. This is like a crossword puzzle. You identify the words that are there. Encircle as many as you can the word or acronym that serves as the sources of information relevant to the curriculum exits. Once finished, perform the yes clap. Okay, so you may, if you are there in your own how, uh, house or home. So this is it. All right, I'll give you at least five seconds five four three two one <laughs> all right so find the words all right so start all right so the words there are actually chad prc dti uh acronyms actually field job net counselor job street peso tesda dep ed poaa um dole so I know you're very familiar, but probably some of you don't know um, these acronym, what these acronym stands for, so we'll have that. How did you find the activity? What have you learned from the activity? Will this acronym will be helpful students? Why? Or how these acronyms later on will help you? <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so activity three, uh, module three is actually reaffirming the chosen track. This is to analyze the connection of one's abilities and experience to the profession, vocation, and your future, right? So whatever exit you will choose. Content standard, to analyze the connection of one abilities and experiences to the profession, vocation, and your future. To examine information and facts about life and profession. All right, parts of the module. All right, module three is reaffirming the chosen track. Let's try to reaffirm. If you are already in Humes, are you really, really want to proceed to Humes or to other tracks? So it's still early. So you still have time to try to think if you are really um, in the right track that you are now, okay? So, information is essential in every decision-making, of course. All right? In all of the things that we do here, we need information. So, all right. So, there are actually materials needed, but they are not needed now in our new normal since this is virtual. All right. So, the objective of this module is to determine the different sources of information relevant to the curriculum exits evaluate the different sources of information relevant to their preferred curriculum exit match the knowledge and skills to the job market demands and possible curriculum exits and valid importance of chosen track all right um there is a video here um 
Dolly Labor, uh, the Labor of Employment Education Services, the LEES, video entitled The Finding a Job. I want you to watch this one and try to observe. Preparing for a job? <coughs> Preparing for a job? that I have here. All right. Take Resume. Note of the requirements. Check. Birth certificate, diploma, and transcript of records. Check. NBI and police clearance. Check. Training certificates. Check. Nice. Looks like I'm really ready for this one. Hey, Jerome. You look so sharp today. Where are you going? Hey. Coney, I'm going to Makati. I have a scheduled interview I'm on the company I applied at. So that explains it. Wait, have you prepared yourself well for that interview? Of course. This is my dream job, so I have prepared a lot for this. Oh, really? Do you mind telling me what kind of preparation did you do to make an impression and get your dream job? Well, it's simple. I just followed some tips from a very reliable source. I'll enumerate them to you. What to do before a job interview? Know the company. Find time to research about the company, the industry and the position being applied for. Groom to impress the interviewer. Dress professionally and conservatively. Wear clean and neatly pressed clothes. Sport a well-groomed hairstyle. Have clean and trimmed fingernails. Wear clean and polished shoes. What to do during a job interview? Take note. Be punctual. Come at least 15 minutes before the interview. Or earlier than Be that. Be polite. Smile and politely greet all company personnel. Carry extra copies of your resume. Answer competently and professionally. Reply to questions should be kiss. Keep it short and simple. Avoid telling jokes, using street language, and deviating from the topic of conversation. It is all right to ask and clarify if you did not understand the question. Avoid eating, chewing a gum, and using cellular phones. for salary negotiation, if given the option. If the salary is negotiable and you are asked for a desired salary or benefits, you may give your preference which may be based on your research. Say thank you after the interview. Of course, say thank you always. Wow, you really are ready. I'd say I'm really impressed. You really know everything. Thank you. I owe this to the Department of Labor and Employment. They are the one who provide me with this. This is the employment guide for students and job seekers. I downloaded one from their website. There are many useful information here regarding work, even for your own business. That sounds really great. I didn't know that they have those kind of services. How do I get a copy of that guide? Just log on to www.dole.gov.ph and download the file from the link there. Oh, the bus is here. I have to go. Wait, don't forget my sister's blow up later. You should come. Sure. I will. Good luck on your interview. Thanks. See you later. check the employment guide. Jerome said that there's information on having your own business. It will help me with my plan. For more
more details, visit www.ble.dole.gov.ph. Brought to you by Department of Labor and Employment. More than jobs. It's decent jobs. More than jobs. It's decent jobs. Alright, so... Um, we're done with the video. Alright, so... Let's see. Mm -hmm. What does the video tell you? After watching the video, what does it say about acquiring information before making a decision? Do you think this is all important? Why? Alright, so there is this puzzle. Um, this is only applicable in the class, but um, not now since this is virtual. So this is actually the puzzle, right? You, um, I actually got the ch um, got a ch chance to <laughs> cut all the sides, and then we had this puzzle, and then they tried to identify what this is all about. But this is actually thriving economy continues to boost labor market, all right? So the Philippine labor market boomed to a new high as a rate of employment increased in October 2016 actually um, the the needs the demands of of labor for the world actually this is not just for our our own nation but there is a demand for the entire world especially Filipino workers but with this pandemic um, since there is this um, uh, limited access there are limitations but again um, it, it doesn't stop us from hiring people especially now that you already know there is senior high school you will not it's hard for you to have employment if you don't have or if, if you did not graduate senior high school so you really have to identify what exit you really wanted to be in the future Alright, uh, what can you say about the data and employment, underemployment, and employment? What sector serves as the biggest contributor of the employment rate as October 2016? How is infographic helpful? What do you think are the sources of information in making the infographic? Procedure, tell the students to remain their respective groups. So it's not anymore applicable. Now identify, so you have here the logos of the different um, they call this one departments in the government we have the TESDA we have the DTI so I try to check the logos identifying the logo icons alright so did you identify those logos alright so since there are three exits here sa trabaho you try to look for information in field job net negosyo DTI that's the department of trade and industry especially if you want to um, put a patent if you want to patent your 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 what do you call this one product then you go to the DTI the Department of Trade and Industry and then it will help you for that and then for Colegio you go ask the guidance counselor of the school of course they, because they know um, they will guide you in, in the different courses offered in colleges or what are the different colleges that reach out to school all right so i've seen assigned repertoire their own group of report their outputs in class be sure to give an overview of each source of information relevant to the curriculum exits so you have here what are the sources of career information of course first thing we have the school's guidance office in mogs we have um, one guidance counselor there, Sir Jasper, I believe, and then, <laughs> and since I'm new in MOGS, uh, I don't know the complete name of Sir, uh, that's my assignment. And for senior high school, we have a guidance counselor designate, Mom Puline Petalver, and the assistant guidance, of course, designate also, Mom Brie um, Barcelona. Okay? All right. School guidance office is managed primarily by a registered guidance counselor. 
as mandated by the Republic Act 9258. You cannot be a guidance counselor if you are not RGC or registered. So there is this problem if you are designated because um, you cannot do the, the, the work wholly the work of a registered guidance counselor um, there is a limitation so that is why um, the school guidance office or the guidance counselor should be registered all right so if you want to know more information about the dep ed so you go to www.deped.gov.ph um, of course k-12 um, program department of labor and employment national agency that envisions every Filipino to work attains full decent and productive employment Bureau of local employment we have the jobs fit Dole 2020 vision BLA project jobs fit um, labor market information try to look there everything is online um, BLA labor market information all right mm -hmm. there are a lot of training Field job net is automated job and applicant matching system it's easier now to apply for a job because you just have to go online and then look for a job compared before that you really have to go physically and go wherever is the job is available and apply for it all right so bureau of local employment you go to your lgu and then ask for if there are available jobs they're actually posted in the, your municipal halls or city halls Bureau of Labor, Labor Relations, Bureau of Workers with Special Concerns, Bureau of Working Conditions, International Labor Affairs Bureau, Philippine Overseas Labor Offices, Employees Compensation Commission, ECC, Overseas Workers Welfare Administration, the OWA, especially for those who are, you know, trying to go to work abroad or have some work there, you're there, you go to OWA. Regional and field offices, Philippine Overseas Employment Administration, TESDA, very timely for TESDA, especially for our middle level skills. You go there, and there are actually free um, courses. They're offering free courses, and they will give you national certification for that, especially NC2. Um, NC2 is needed if you want to go abroad, especially those sister countries. Um, they need that in NC2 if you want to apply, especially the skills. Um, they needed skills um, for, their, for their company. Yes. Mm -hmm. Civil Service Commission, of course, CSC is the Human Resource Department of the Government. If you want to, go, if you want to work with the government, you'll have to go through CSC. Public Employment Service Office, the PESO. Yes, um, um, they have office in every LGU. Public Employment Service Office, yes. Mm -hmm. All right, the CHED, of course, if you want to go to college and continue your degree, then every information is available in CHED. They also have scholarships, actually. All right, so DTI for your business. Did you did the information help you set in curriculum exit? Try to identify what exit you want. All right, and then application. How oh, this application dressing up a mini me? Try to make a mini me. All right, um, you may just draw, um, and then cut it out, and try to dress a doll or just draw a doll. Just draw a mini-me of yourself, if you want, whatever you want in the future. If you want to go to college, if you want to be a teacher someday, or if you want to be a businessman someday, if you want to be working abroad, or a part of the growing force of the NC2 middle-level middle skills. Right. Do, you, do the information about curriculum exit fit you in your current abilities or skills? Do you think you already have the enough information? Why do you say so? Reflection, how will you plan out your preferred curriculum exit? Again, what are the different exits? Trabajo. After senior high school, ha? after senior high school, trabajo ba? Negosyo ba? 
or colegio if you want to go to college or middle level skills to test the thing and try to enhance more your skills in get nc2 and go abroad what are your realizations about activity how will you apply these in planning out your career now evaluation there is this my career information sheet just try to answer whatever your um plans in the future right assignment instruct the learners to share their career information sheet and it's not possible for now since this is new normal all right mm -hmm. all right simulation it's your time to shine all right after sharing the that form to your classmates but it's impossible may I end my presentation with this education is our passport to the future for tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it today that's true really really true thank you very much and again for my grade 11 um, Humes Peterson this video will help you identify try to you know think of what curriculum exit you want in the future to all senior high school grade 11 of Mog senior high school thank you very much for watching I'll see you then for the next module thank you and mabuhay